Hi everyone, this is a glutes and inner thighs workout. Come on to your hands and knees and lift your right leg up. Let's start with lifts up and down, up and down. Squeeze the glutes, keep the right leg turned in, the toes are pointed down, and keep your core very strong so there's no movement in your spine like this. Now hold that leg up and pulse it up. Keep the elbows just slightly bent. Squeeze those glutes hard. Four, three, come to windmill kicks. Now bring that right leg all the way over to the left, touch the floor, big arch, and touch the floor to the right. Left and right. Up, left, and right. Up, left. Let's take that a little bit faster. Doesn't have to be too fast. Stay in control. Four, three, two, and one, and good rest. You can sit back and breathe, roll out the wrists, and we'll go to the other side. Left leg, up, down, up, down. Big lift, it's almost a kick. Pulse the leg, up, up. Try to squeeze the glutes every time you lift. Don't just think about moving the leg, actively squeeze the muscles. Three, let's do those big windmill kicks. Take the leg all the way over towards the right, touch the floor, all the way to the left, touch the floor. Big arc there. Up, touch, up, touch, lift, touch. Let's take that a bit faster. Down, up, down, up, down. So this is tempo. You can be this fast if you want. Stay in control. Four, three, two, and one. And good, relax. We're gonna do a hip bridge now. Come on to your back. Keep the legs hip width apart. Feet under your knees. And we lift the hips. Up, two, down, two. Exhale, push. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings. Exhale, lift. Singles, lift and down. I want you to pulse the hips up for three. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, two more like that. Now lift the hips up high and hold pulse. Now with each pulse, we're trying to get a little bit higher. Keep the knees and toes pointed forward. Try not to let the legs turn out. Let's hold the glutes. Hold the hips as high as you possibly can. Keep squeezing. Four counts. Push into the floor, lift a little higher. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relax. <sighs> Come on to your side now for inner thigh lifts. Bend your top leg, put, place the foot on the floor. You can be up on your elbow or you can be down and rest the head on the hands. Lower leg is slightly forward. Foot is flexed, lift the leg in two counts. Up, in two, down, two. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. You'll be leaning back slightly. If you're on your elbow, make sure you're not collapsed into the arm. Keep the core strong. Singles, lift, up and down. Keep the legs straight and strong. Keep that knee pulled up, keep the quads engaged. One more, point the foot, circles, eight, seven, six, five, and reverse, eight, 
seven, six, three, two. Now hold the leg up, flex the foot, lift it as high as you can, high as you can, and relax. Good, change sides. Top leg is bent, foot is on the floor. Lower leg is slightly forward. Foot is flexed, toes are forward. Lift the leg in two counts. Up, two, down, two. Try to use your strength from the abdomen, from the lower abdomen, to lift the leg. Singles, up and down, up and down. Two, and one, point the foot, and we got circles. Eight, seven, six, and reverse. Eight, seven, six. Hold it, stay flex the foot, lift as high as you can, high as you can, and relax, good. Now you're gonna come back onto your back and place a block between, or a towel as an option, between the <laughs> legs, between the knees to engage the inner thighs and the glutes. Lift the legs up and down. Lift the hips up and down. Now pulse the hips up. Lift, lift. Hold it there, stay. Lift as high as you can. Squeeze that block, squeeze the towel, squeeze the legs towards each other. Three, two, and one, and good, relax. We're moving on to side legs now. Come on to your side. Legs are stacked slightly forward, up on the elbow or down. We got 16 lifts, here we go. Up and down, up, down. Keep the top leg turned in, toes are forward. It's even a bit more challenging to turn the leg more in more, trying to point the toes towards the floor. That's gonna help the glutes work harder, especially the side glutes, the glute medius. Three. Now hold the leg up and pulse it. Up, up, six, five, four, three, Two, point the foot, circles, eight, seven, six, five. Now if this gets to be too much, you can bend the leg, make it a little bit easier, but try to keep that leg straight and strong. Let's reverse that circle eight times, eight, seven. Four, three, two, and one, good, relax. Let's go to the other side. Legs are stacked, slightly forward. 16 lifts. Lift it, up and down. Lift, down. Keep the core strong throughout. Try to connect the core muscles to what's happening in the lower body. Four, three. Let's hold that leg up and pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five. Point the leg, circles. Eight, seven, six, Five, three, two, and reverse. Eight, seven, six. Hope you're feeling this, because I sure am. Four, three, two, and one. Good, relax. 
Now you're gonna stay on this side. You're gonna cross the top leg in front and then do some more inner thigh lifts here. It's gonna be quick. That bottom foot will be flexed. Now let's point it and do the small circles. This is a small range of motion here. And reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And good, relax. On to the other side. Now you're gonna grab a block between the thighs again before we move on. And do that hip lift again, pulsing up. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes. Pulsing as high as you can. Lift, lift, lift. Can you get a bit higher? Make sure you're still on your shoulders though. Don't uh, push the weight onto your neck. Good. Let's go on to the other side. Lift. Now if this is really easy, you can put an ankle weight on. You can even place a light weight on the thigh here. Point the foot, circles, eight, seven, six. And reverse, eight, seven. Three, two, and one, and rest, good. Now we're going back to the hip bridge, and option to place heavy weights on the hips. Onto your back. Weights on the hips, and let's set the hips up and down. Now this can be very slow like this, or we can move to singles like this, up and down, up and down. Let's pulse the hips up. Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Pulse the hips, up, up, up. Keep going, squeeze the hamstrings, keep the legs turned in. Now stay there, hold. Can you transfer all the way to your left foot and lift your right leg without dropping the right hip? It's kind of fun to do, right? Four, three, two, Change. Bring them all the way to your right leg and lift your left leg forward without dropping your left hip. Now, if that's too much for you, keep both feet down and that's fine. Four, three. Now, both feet down, back to the hip lift. Pulse. You can also have the block or the towel between the knees here as well. Last four, three, two. And one, and good, rest. On to your hands and knees now. We got one more exercise each side. It's gonna be a donkey kick. You're gonna lift that right leg up and tuck the knee in and big lift. In, big lift. Now again, try not to have movement in the spine. Even though this kick is gonna be fairly Aggressive. Keep the leg turned in. Four, three, two, and one. Good rest. So the other side to finish. You'll notice me bending my arms a little bit on the big kick and lift, and that can help change the angle of the body so that leg gets higher without uh, affecting the back. All right, here we go. In, lift, in, big lift kick. Squeeze the glutes hard on that lift. Keep it up. Keep the core strong. Final, four, 
three, two, and one, and good. Relax, sit back, breathe. You will probably want to stretch those hips out with a stretch video for the, uh, the inner thighs and the glutes. Otherwise, everybody have a great day. As a good boy.